Go All right, we back. And this is the hindsight rewind, and we just watched the wave. Thoughts? Yeah. Um. Well, personally, for me, I'm a huge fan of sci-fi, the sci-fi genre. Um, specifically, time travel, time slips, time dilation, anything involving um, manipulation of you know matter, space-time continuum, gravitational. You know, change changing the polarity of gravitational fields and all of that quantum, um, quantum mechanic stuff. <laughs> um, this movie like really went into all of that. It's really, it really took you in. Um, with the, with the you know the, the kind of like a, a drug twist. So it, it it was basically what a lawyer um, said. And he was at a party. He's, a, he's an attorney, right? Yeah, he, he's, he's an a attorney. lawyer, attorney, or something. Corporate, yeah, he's a corporate. Uh, he's a corporate um, attorney for insurance. Insurance. Yeah. yeah. And he was at a party with a coworker, and then went and was offered a substance, like a drug substance, to take with it, with another young lady, and he took it. And then this basically. Allowed him to time travel, travel and time yeah, slips. Time and, travel. And By jump. smashing a clock. He had to smash a clock and he could just time well, travel. Or like, like, was hit it a clock. clock or was it? Yeah, I it. feel like, but he didn't always hit, hit a clock. It was always a clock because the phone was the clock or the clock was the clock or like it was always a clock or the car clock. They would hit that one. Mm-hmm. Anytime you hit a clock, you would make a Or move anytime time. a clock would. Like, would break or something. Break. Like ball, yeah, because yeah. in the in the boardroom, that's when it hit. Yep, because that fell off that thing. But he would still do some. I don't. know, He would still kind of have to like have like kind of hallucinations or something. Yep. Like, Maybe before time would make. I think time was probably like dilating, dilating it yeah. for sure. For sure. So that's what it was. But so it was, was like he was still change. seeing like people's inner. It was like the trippy world. Like he could see deeper into mm-hmm. something. And patterns and stuff like that. Yeah, that was a very interesting movie. But basically, it, yeah, it was him. I, this was an interesting concept because the story was kind of different. Um, as far as I feel like the, the main character's goals and patterns. And the pattern. And yeah, it was non-linear. It was non-linear. It, it was, yeah, it was, was un- cool. It was kind of. It was really unexpected. Because usually in kind of time movies, time travel movies, they don't particularly end like this. They don't. They don't end like in this fashion. They don't. So it was. It was for me. Yeah, compared to other movies that I've seen in this genre, this was. It was a unique ending. Um, a very unexpected ending. It was, a, it was a good twist. But I like how. Yeah, he jumped through time. Um, how obviously he, he got his ability to harness his power more. Um, yeah, I like the growth, the growth of the character once he actually started figuring out what was going on. Yeah. And what's his name? Like, some, what's his the actor's name? I like the actor too. Yeah, he, he, he's a familiar guy, but yeah, we can't, and we don't know his name. But he's a, <laughs> but he's a popular he's guy. A familiar like face. Jake something maybe, or. Jake Long, am I making that up? It's like you would know. He was in Jeepers Creepers, and then the guy from Scrubs, the black dude from Scrubs. Okay, wow, he was in Jeepers Creepers. He was a teenager in Jeepers Creepers. Yeah, I can't think of his name. Yeah, because I was like Jeepers Creepers was like a a high school bus or something. Mm -hmm. So okay, yeah, he was a lawyer, and playing as a lawyer, a little bit older now. He still looks like he's. Yeah, he did a good job, though. I enjoyed his character. I liked the other chick who he was, like, chasing through the dimensions. Mm-hmm. I was a little confused by the story. It did have a little, you know, a little, like... But I feel like I kind of got to just... Um, yeah, I felt like I she did. was... I felt like that was the kiss of death. You know what I mean? That's what that was saying. Mm-hmm. You take this. It had the skull all over the, the glass and everything, and he was... He had a chance to do something right in the universe before he left, and it was just weird. But yeah, I didn't expect it to end that way. Yeah, it should, I guess it, it should never 
never hit that. Yeah, don't do mysterious drugs with people in back rooms. That's just what the lesson you know what I mean? is. Even with that, I don't know. That that's that was kind of all up to interpretation. Like, was he? No matter what, he was, he might have. No matter what, he was gonna get by that car. Yeah. yeah. You know, maybe or that was just him tripping. Maybe he was tripping off the drug as he went through those days, and he just saw it as like some weird trippy, chopped up experience. But really, he was just going straight through, doing all these weird things. And, and, and that's it, why he was blacking out. Plenty, time yeah. he was blacking out. But that's you know that could have been the whole like. It's like his future self was occupying that time when yeah. he was blocking, blacking when he was out. Blacking out. That's simply what it was. But I mean, I mean, you never know. There could be or something with that drug. That drug can can help you know make your brain connect your brain to different time. You know, like to where you're jumping out. You're as you from a different from a time that is already can take over your time. brain and consciousness. Your consciousness. Yeah, and you, you, you of course you got to black out right there. Which is an interesting like concept. There, it was another movie. Um, there was the same thing would actually happen, and it was a time, it was a time travel movie. Yeah, Butterfly Effect. Butterfly Effect is the same thing because when he would read the books, right? When he would read the books, he would read the books. He would go back in time, and then he was going back in time. That when he was doing stuff when he was a little kid, remember? Like, a, and like there was a time he was like stabbing his hand with a knife, and I. Like there was a bunch of weird stuff he would have memories of of happening when he was a kid. Like even his mom just caught him like holding a knife in the kitchen, and that was him in the future going back in time doing something. So his mom was like, "What? Do, what were you doing?" And he's just like, "I don't know." Like and he like like. Uh, I'm literally not so the same thing about. happened. Jim Carrey, they, yeah. they basically no, no, that was with Ashton Kutcher. That Ashton, was oh yeah. The same thing. Sure. He would go back in time. He would black out yes. because his body would. That was him controlling it from another. So that is kind of a concept that is. You know. It's been it's been thought of, but I guess in a different way. This is more so. He took that drug at the party, so that drug allowed him to to do that, and it ultimately led to him. But it seemed like that drug just tri- tricked it out, tri- tri- tripped him out too much, because right? he it still seemed as though that caused his demise. But maybe yeah, he also was like tripping. It seemed like in all the scenes where he was like still with other people and interacting with mm-hmm. people it seemed like he was kind of like spazzy and trippy so it like, like it, I couldn't tell if he was really having some spaz on the drugs if he was just spazzing like, I don't know but it still was a fun ride and all the other characters were cool I liked the little extra chick who was in there <laughs> just followed him around for some of the movie yeah, overall a really good sci-fi movie um and I like the trippy color effects they started to use and stuff. You know what I mean? That like painted, I don't know what you would call that, like like a Van Gogh kind of a. Yeah. It was. Yeah, re- really good colors, really good effects. Not too much. Caught you off guard. A lot of action. A lot of action. Yep. Um, and legit action. Like, I felt like it was a good run around. There, it was a very fast paced movie. There was never like a, any two seconds, I feel like, where you were just kind of sitting there. It was going, 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 going. The beats were happening really quickly. He's moving through the house. He's going. He's changing his clothes. He's at the office. Now he's, he's you know, the deal is getting made. The guy is sitting there. He's playing with the pen. Now the ladies don't. Like, it's always was something happening at every second of the film as it was just pile driving through the story. Yeah, I agree. And then, along with that, it was, it was just really good cinematography. Like, overall, some of the shots, like, I remember the opening shot. I think it was like, yeah, the first opening shot when it's like going through the, the house and he's sitting there, you know, coming coming to from, from the party. Like, the very opening shot. Yeah, I know. It was just how I was going through the house, how they had this shot, the angle that the, the, the cameraman's taking with the, you know, the way they had the light going through. It was pretty clean, pretty good cinematography effects, clean, good artistry on it. 
part of the directors. Yeah, uh, so as far as like the colors, I like the like the the universe kind of like kind of kaleidoscope kind of mm-hmm. effect with the red or not the red but the uh, pink and blue that oh, they okay. kept using. Like I like all that. Um, yeah. That was solid. I, I like the I like the actors too again, and I feel like they were dealing with the situation relatively realistically. And for me. When I watch any film, like sci-fi film uh, about time travel, it's I can almost guarantee that if I watch it a second time, you kind of have an understanding first of what's going on. You almost understand it more and just from just a yeah a, a, a better angle a second time. So all of these movies, in my opinion, like spe- specifically time travel time loops, all that type of stuff, you can watch them again, because the second time it'll, it'll actually be a little bit better because you might, you just understand things, but you're still watching the movie like, okay, yeah, you get the universe now this is happening, yeah. this is happening because he just did this, oh okay, now I see you know, because it almost like you, you piece the full story together in a different way, but it's fun, it's interesting and they made it, they definitely Definitely get a job, did a good job of making this story like fluid and not doing too many things, not doing too much. To con- yeah, you know, yeah. To what it you it still was like a pretty linear story, even yeah. though it had the time jump around. So you could really could still follow kind of what was going on. But it took you, I feel, or, or you know, it would take you a little bit. Like, because for me, it took me. You know, I had to get in to, under, to get into the movie a bit to understand, like, oh, okay, okay, oh, so this is happening, but eventually, we could it. Um, but yeah, I, I, I liked it, um, overall, rated, overall, <clears throat> the, this, would this be the wave? Yep, the wave. Yeah, um, I would have to give this an 8.5. Out of ten. Dang, um, I was gonna give it a seven point five. That's crazy. The, the wave and really my my rating is just me based just based off the genre. You know, I just love the sci-fi genre. I think they did a great job. Um, I want to watch it again. I love you know just how, how they pieced it together. It was different. It's a little you know. It's just something unique. And yeah. I just wanna watch it one more time just to, you know, help me make a make a little bit more sense of it. I like the story. Um so seven point five, I give this give it a uh, eight point five, you give it a seven point five. We'll so that that like that's solid. That's solid. That and I only give it the seven point five because I feel like some of the story elements were like weird in there. Like the two things that really stand out to me were like the car that crashed there randomly. I didn't understand that. Like maybe I missed something. And then him doing all the drugs. That part didn't make any sense. Like why would someone do that? Like, I get maybe they just had to add a beat to the story, but that part just seemed super weird. Yeah. Like, it just was too nonsensical to a certain extent. Like, why did he just, you know? Like, did he not control himself? Yeah, like, and that, that was the one part that just, it just didn't make any sense to me. And I couldn't get, it. like, what? Like, what? And then for him to be kind of like okay after that, this was a little bit off the way. Yeah, he was okay. He do all of those drugs and he was fine. Like literally, he goes on a trip for a second. He sits there in the sand, all the back in the back, like runs away, and then like boom, he's back in the car. And they're like chasing them for the to get them for the drugs and the money. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, 
that was like, why did he even just do that? And they never like filled in that gap. Sure, they yeah, put it in the back never, of the car, they, but they, they never, never they did never show shows us him. Yeah, him. How that got in point, there? Going like, oh, okay, I need to put the, the drugs in this dude's trunk. Yeah, they never showed them. It was just, yeah, it was literally just disappeared at that point. Like, like just some type of full inference. They can't put that shit down. Like, they motherfuckers, they know how to see from the bottom. Yeah. Oh, shit, it's still recording, huh? Yeah, it is. Why? <laughs> that sounds real. <laughs> Full inference. Never even shown that. And that, yeah, that was like a disappointing element of the film. But yeah, we'll go with the eighth then. Pretty good movie. I liked it. I recommend it. See it. It's on uh it was on um Amazon Prime. Yep. And if not, HBO Max, one of the two. Alright. We out. <laughs>